Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's weight reduction right there. Dude, this thing's gonna weigh nothing by the time. 1500. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. Dustin, what are we going to do right now? I'm going to get the burnout truck. Yeah? What are you going to do with it? Just beat James. Okay. Power truck? Power truck diesel. Turbo diesel. <laughs> there she is. Oh, he's got her charging up. Look at the American flag on the. Yeehaw, oh. dude. Oh, man. Did we get these wheels? Oh, you get everything. Oh. It's like everything's there. So it's got a transmission issue? It is rusty, dude. This thing might have been underwater, dude. <laughs> I think that thing was underwater. <laughs> it's been to a boat ramp once or twice. It's been to a boat ramp and been backed in. Cab deep. I mean, it's a... <laughs> oh, 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 all right, I mean, that's all right. Got a lot of corrosion on it, man. It's all good, though. T West truck. Woo! <laughs> Total burnouts will shake most of the rust off. I think she's gonna have a hard life. What do you think? I think it's a ripper. Think she's a gem? I think this is the one. Let's, let's read the codes on it. It's it's honestly perfect. The rust will all shake off once it does a quick little burnout. All right, well, we gotta make sure it'll spin the tires before we leave. I think we will. Justin, it's got a lift gate. I know. Does it work? He said it, we gotta hook up the wires and it should work. I feel like, uh... Ah, don't worry about it. We'll get it. We'll try it when we get back. Fuel level sensor and glow Fuel plug. Fuel level sensor, glow plug, a couple of EGR codes. No so trans issues? I don't see it yet. I'm gonna go into that side, but I don't see anything yet. Oh, bog deep. This baby's coming home with us. Transmission code's zero, but I'm sure it'll come back. You said you cleared them, right? Yeah, yeah so... Oof. We'll come back. She'll drive down the street. $1,580. bucks. Fifteen eighty. dollars You're already a step ahead of James on the price. I'm always a step ahead of James. <laughs> That's a happy man. Look at this. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> All right. Oh, Drew. Hey, loop. <laughs> the very last oh, second, man. dude. That we're using Drew's trailer and not mine. Yeah, that worked out great. What the heck? Kevin, what are we doing? We're going to fix it. We're going to fix it. Yeah. Guys, we got the golf cart and we're up at Kevin's shop. As you guys know, Kevin was a big part of Build Wars and he built the axle for the CBR 1000 golf cart. So dropping it off at his shop up here in Gainesville, he's actually going to be doing the repairs here at his shop because basically... You're a busy, you're a busy guy. So. I mean, he's got, but he's got the plan. True. So he's talking about cutting the axle and actually splicing on an outer end just to repair where it's bent, which would definitely save some parts and time. Yeah, yeah, I think we could do that instead of remake everything. Of course, a lot of it. I mean, it's that's not going to be as strong, but yeah. if you're not wheeling it, wheeling and crashing it, I think it'll be fine. Hopefully, I'm not going to be crashing it in the near future. So, <laughs> Kevin's going to repair it here. He's actually going to take some videos too and put it on his KSR Performance YouTube page. So yeah. that'll be interesting. Yeah. So Try put a link to, to that below thing. so you guys can check it out. Definitely go subscribe, check out some videos he's gonna be putting up. But it's a little opportunity for you know him to start a channel up and also uh, we'll get the golf cart fixed. So that's freaking awesome. And he also got front end parts. We still gotta go golfing, so. I know, dude, we haven't gone golfing yet. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> Plus you got some front end parts already for it. Yep, yep, so. a friend of mine had some front end parts, had some extra wheels, so we can put her back together and go have some fun with it again. Okay. Guys, we gotta get her unloaded, but listen, that, this thing fires right up. We're ready for another day. So we're gonna get it fixed up. See it's pigeon toad sitting on the trailer, Cooper's trailer. Well, it's got what we call dynamic uh, steering. Dynamic so, steering. Oh, yeah. Bluetooth steering. <laughs> Bluetooth steering. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta think which direction you want to go and hope. Hmm. So we're gonna get it unloaded, leave it here at Kevin's shop. This is a new shop too, I haven't really got to see it. Yeah. Just moved over here. We moved in moved in here six months ago, I guess. Six months ago? 
Check Ooh, I see turbos. Looks pretty good, man. Yep, that one's the red one's twin turbo EFI, Holly yeah. EFI project. That one's a twin turbo Holly EFI project. That one's a single turbo Holly EFI project. Good, Holly EFI for life. <laughs> if you have a car, a race car that you want to have Holly EFI, you can actually bring it here. Pay Kevin, he'll install it, wire it, the whole thing. So that's a big thing they do here. But they also do road racing, so a bunch of road race cars. I do my champ car racing with Kevin, so. This is a new champ car built. You definitely have some projects on your hands. Yeah. Throw a golf cart in the mix. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll get her fixed up. All right, we'll see it soon enough. All right, folks, another day, another drag strip rental at Bradenton Motorsports Park with some really good friends from the Adam LZ Open House. So heading there right now, driving Ruby, cruising down the street. She's just the best little street car ever. Gonna run some eights today. Gonna let some of my slow import buddies feel what the bald eagles are like. So Ruby's gonna let her rip today, take some of these guys on an eight second run. Should be really, really fun, but we're uh, pulling up there here in a minute. We're gonna let her rip. Oh, dang, guys, I can feel them eagles. Woo. Ruby's just a machine, dude. So he runs on Mountain Dew and bald eagles and bring them. What do you think of this thing, dude? It looks pretty cool. I love all the symmetrics of it. It's pretty awesome. Hey, all in favor of James blowing up the 240. Hey, I gotta race this weekend. I That's four I... people, James. Yeah. You gotta do it, dude. I, mean, I, feel bad <laughs> I mean, it's probably gonna do it on its own anyways. Okay, okay. So. This is Z-Roy, guys. This is Adam LZ's 370Z Leroy. Twin symmetrical turbos. You got the intercooler on the intake. I mean, it's, it looks very similar to Leroy's setup, but vastly different, so. That's uh, it's an interesting Holy machine. Yeah, I know. I can't believe that. Wow, Two drive-by right. wire throttle buttons. It's like, whoa. Sounds like a tuning nightmare. But it's right in that power range. I guess he's not having any issues with it. So it made 700 horsepower at boost creeps, just like we like our cars to do. We got ourselves a James Stall Pass. Got a lot of headwind, but he's got a fresh new hood on this thing. So, man, this thing's loud. Nitrous. You can talk about it here Wait, and then not so, include it. So guys, here's the deal. James, the type of racing he does, we can't show his time. So sorry about that. Yeah. Just imagine it was fast. All right, guys, we're going for a quick eight second rip. Just make sure everything's good with Ruby and then uh, that'll be that. Taylor, you just blew up your diff. Destroyed it. You let me drive your car yesterday, though. I did. Maybe I caused some of that. So. No, 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 definitely not. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. But, well, now you need to redeem yourself. Go for an eight second rip. I mean, fastest <laughs> I've gone is like a 12 1. So, this is going to be a mild jump in speed. It's going to be a little bit faster. A little bit faster. Just a little bit faster. But, I mean, I'm sure you've done well over 160 before in yes. your life. So, the mile per hour won't be new, but the launch, the launch. The launch is the best part, yeah, too. You're going to sure really it feel is. it. So, I, yeah, that's what I'm excited about. I, you know, I, it would take me a long time to build a car that was this fast to experience this. So, I'm yeah. really stoked to like experience it 
without having to build a car that goes this fast. Yeah, there you go. You don't have to do the hard part. <laughs> yeah, so. exactly. It's super fun, super easy. All you do is point the wheel straight and you're good. So Don't steer. Yeah, so hop in. I'll give you the rundown and okay. we'll send you out there. Ignition like starter first, second. Yep. This needs to come on Just pretty much immediately. Now. Now. Okay. All right, so ignition. Fire it up. shift. I don't know, I didn't even hear it. I him. think he shifted at like 100 feet out. That's so funny, you can shift wherever in the- 131.60. <laughs> you can shift wherever you want, Ruby's just You like, really can. Whatever, I'll do it. 550 at 125 to the eighth, that probably felt pretty good. Good job, Taylor, dude. There you go. <laughs> Easy enough. So funny. Oh, he's gonna be smiling from ear to ear after that. Yeah, I, thought, I was like, did it shift? Like, did he start in second? <laughs> Those G-forces feel like nothing else. I know, yeah, dude. I, that, it, you can't hear him when you shift early. Shut her down, there you go. Dude, what was it? Welcome to the eights, my friend. Oh, I did it! I didn't know. I felt like I sh I didn't even look at the thing to Dude, see you the shift. shifted like 200 feet out. Yeah. <laughs> we were like, did it shift? We couldn't even hear it, but we were like, hey, Ruby's got you. Dude. I shifted hey, way early, dude. Welcome thank to the you. Eights, that dude. was so sick. I can't believe that was still an eight. How'd that launch feel? It felt insane. It's like being shot out of a cannon. It's hard to not shift this car early. Yeah. Like yeah. I do it too. It's very difficult to not just slam it into second because it's such a sensation. Right? And I like I was like, oh I have to steer I had both hands on. I'm like, I have to take this hand off. So I'm like, I'm just gonna do it now. Get it over with. <laughs> it's all blurred. Oh, that was so sick, dude. dude Thank yeah. you so much. Hey, that was job, awesome, man. dude. Good job. Oh. I can't, that's crazy. <laughs> Nothing I've ever seen. How easy is it though? It's really easy. It's the steering rack definitely throws me off because I'm not used to it. So I'm like, it was going a little right. And I'm like, why isn't it turning left? <laughs> but I understand why you would have it. Yeah, I don't want to lose there's that. a lot of input on this wheel to make it turn. Like, yeah, it just, makes sense. It makes total rack. sense. Yeah, it's opposite of drifting because you're used to a little bit of steering. Yeah. A lot. This is a lot of steering. Exactly. Little, so. How that oh, feel? Dude, it was insane. It <laughs> was insane. Let's get you out of here. Oh, life changing. All right, TJ, how do you feel? <sighs> Time to get some bald eagles in my blood. Like What's the fastest pass right? you've ever made? 12. 12. Okay, cool. Well, this will be great then. All so right, let's get you in the eight morning. second club. We've got a wild James coming up. We'll do another wheelie.
it doesn't matter. So if, if you feel uncomfortable, slip. <laughs> Did he shift right off the kick there? Shifted it immediately. I mean, he shifted that before thing the sixty. Right off the line, he threw it in second. <laughs> hey, brother, gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, it did an eight ninety in second. Still on eight, dude. Ruby is out here. Great job, TJ. See what that sixty looks like. One five. I mean, That's all right. One five. Slowest six. sixty foot she's ever done, but she still was like, hey, brother. Only five eight to the eight. He barely got his eight. Eight ninety eight. He's in the eights club. There you go. <laughs> No 10s, no 9s, no 11s for him. That's all right. He, yeah, dude, he skipped them all. <laughs> <laughs> he had me a little flustered there for a second. I was like, man, come on. Oh, my God. I have to do that again. I feel like I shifted a little bit early. Holy shit. Dude, My foot couldn't reach the pedal, so like I it got off, off the gas. for like a second. Well, hey, let me tell you something. You're still in the eight second club. Dude, I gotta go again. <laughs> I, go I, again? I have to go again. <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> that was like the craziest dude, thing. You're I'm the like, first person to pull up and still want to go again. I need to go again. <laughs> like, dude, when you go to second, I like glance and it's still like in second gear, like, like still in the second. Oh, dude, you went to second like so fast. Okay, I went to early. way early, okay. way early, which is fine. Okay, well, I, I just fine. didn't. I have it's to not go. as big of a deal as your foot coming off the gas. We gotta keep that baby pinned. Yeah, I gotta put a weight on that or some okay. shit. It just like <laughs> threw my ass. I was like, oh my god. Yeah. I saw Wait you in there like, I saw you like take a deep breath, and then I heard the transmitting <laughs> button click. I was like, damn, he's like ready for this one. <laughs> the biggest wheelie he's ever done. You guys, we're gonna take Ruby home. Not gonna run her again. She's gonna drive her home. She's doing good. I don't wanna mess it up. We uh, we gotta send this thing for seven. So she is getting a bigger turbo this week. Getting our flange in this week. So I'm just gonna keep her running good. No point in running her again for no reason. So so happy with how she performs though dude she's such a freaking savage like what car can you just drive to the track run three eights and just drive home so that that car there i mean it's a proven street car that runs consecutive dude, eights every and time and it's not just like it goes 899 every time that, it's go 850s 860s i mean it is a proven car we put in now what six different people in it yeah and all six different people went faster even like than, big know. mistakes yeah like people and they all go in 500 <laughs> and it's a high gear and it still goes an 880 and you know? she never spins oh, she never, never spins no drama just consistent as can be i mean yeah. that's a proven machine right so how do you feel a 240 
Oh, it's it's solid. It's ready. She's for pretty savage. It, it just tried to flip over yeah. backwards. I had to be over here to help TJ, but yeah. I did Cooper, I did hear and see a glimpse Cooper, of it. Cooper got a good video. Of yeah, it, but yeah. It, it was not coming down. So <laughs> I just made a suspension change. I'm gonna try one more time and okay. hopes that it goes. Uh, it can wheelie, but not that much or for that long. This James hasn't really been involved in the whole YouTube thing. He's just out here racing, which I respect. <laughs> just, this is all I've done this race. <laughs> James is like, I'm not talking to anybody. I'm just out here to race, guys. That's James. She looks good, though. All right, guys, we're heading back. Freaking super fun day at the track. Gotta love drag racing. Check out everyone else's content, but shout out to TJ and Taylor for ripping Ruby. It was a blast to see them do what they did. So, gonna head home, get some sleep. We got a uh, racetrack tomorrow, but. That's it for this week, man. It's been freaking awesome. Thanks for watching, New for Dale. Freaking see you later.